What is up you guys, and of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the CR Ender. And today I got myself a match against the Shuckle Death. And uh, I don't know as Dustin, but it's one of those awesome names, I really like it. And uh, Dustin is a very, very good player. We battled before and he won because he was the better player and uh, he's a very good matchup player. What that means is that he has a lot of safe switch-ins and uh, looking through his team here, it's a very good build, it's able to wall out necessary things and can stay along for a long time. Uh, I am using Floet, Malimar, a special set Gorgeist, Emolga, my honey pie, uh, Minerva or Meowstic, which is the sword power set, which is going to play a huge role, hopefully in this battle, and uh, Steelix or my Alpha Lix. It's basically a sweeping Steelix and it works really well, uh, but it has a tough competition to work in this battle. Of a lot of Pokemon can do super effective damage against him. He, he himself is using um, Belladrum Lenoon, um, Fridanoi and Ludicolo, which is going to play a major role in this battle. Zebra Strike, Togetic, Muck, and uh, the Scoff Primeape. And uh, obviously, here I do see what is going to be his lead. And uh, the Primeape seems like the safest bet. And even if you wanted to start off with the Zebra Strike, I can still use my Floet to wall that out. And if we start off with Primeape, I know it's going to go for a U-turn. So Fluet is the best bet, can wall out pretty much anything on his team. It can't really do damage, but that's hardly the point. It's just a wall, and it's pretty good at it. And uh, I'm using a Call Mine set, hoping it's going to work, but uh, it doesn't have quite the punch in it. And uh, yeah, besides that, um, yeah, I guess you should say, both the Molga and that Lodicolo is going to play the biggest roles in this battle, and you're gonna see throughout this battle why, because this is a very long battle. So, with that in mind, guys, let's go. So, at the start of here, I'm really expecting him, like I said, to bring the Primeape. So, I'm starting off with my Floet, and uh, I do expect him to go for a U turn or hard switch to his Mux. So I'm gonna go for a Psychic. I really felt, you know, that that was my best idea, because I can't really do anything with Floet as long as Muck is around, and uh, I really thought Psychic will do more. It does quite miserably, to be honest. I do get the special defense drops. So I see this as a good opportunity to bring in my special set Gorgeist, forcing him to stay in, of course, thinking like he's set up and go maybe for a Shadow Sneak at best. So I'm just gonna go straight off the bat for Shadow Ball. The special defense drop is not like helping a lot, but in conjunction with what's going on, I really felt that that was my best bet, really. When he actually forced to switch out, which says more to me that. He has no way of attacking it, and since this is a special set, that means I've packed the Sludge Bomb, which does nothing. But the thing is, that doesn't, the Dazzling Gleam doesn't really do anything either, so... We are really in a stalemate here. I do get the poison, considering I have a 30% chance of that happening, so that's kind of fine. It's it's a pretty much a skull, but with um, poison instead. And, uh, well, let's just say this. I went for a Shadow Ball here, expecting him to switch out. So obviously I don't do enough and let's go for an Encore, which means that I know for a fact that the Linoon is coming in. And even if it doesn't, Steelix is still a very safe bet for me to get into. So I decide to um, bring him in, of course. And uh, like I said, the Linoon is coming in. And I know it's gonna switch out right off the bat to Ludicolo, but I was just wondering how much does an Iron Head Shear Force with Life Orb do? And um, i say it does some pretty fair damage. I mean, resisted, yeah, but I think I still pull through. But of course, I can't take a Skull, so I won't like even risk that either. And um, I'm gonna bring Silmeria, thinking that I can probably take tank that really well. I mean, it's up to debate, yes, but I do go for a Coal Mine here, because I did expect him to switch out, but it's gonna go for Leech Seed. And that is actually really unfortunate. It's not like I can do anything from that range either. Elite Seed is gonna wear me down if I stay in for too long and I can't set up. But I was thinking I can at least bring, um, or at least, you know, showcase my moveset and bring in a Moonblast and see how much it does. Because now the Ludico is pretty much back on track and that is... I'm gonna hate that poke throughout this battle. And here comes the Goober, which I should have expected and gone for a Psychic. Moonblast does nothing. And yeah, that is nothing with a big an N on it, that, ah, and the thing is, I really, I am not walled out by any means, but I can't do too much to it, so I'm gonna bring Alpha Lix right off the bat, because I don't really want to take a, any attacks on my Gorgeist right now, so I do expect him here to bring the Ludicolo, but as you go for Togekiss, 
And uh, it's a little unfortunate because I go for Rock Slide missing. And uh, he gets an honest chance to go for a Roost, but then again, I was pretty sure Iron Head should do more than enough to take it out. And uh, it does fair damage, but it doesn't take him out. But luckily for me, the poison will. And uh, yeah, awesome stuff. So anyway, I do expect the Severus Strike to come, but it goes actually for the Primeape, and I really was thinking, alright, he might actually go for close combat, so I might as well bring Cresto, my special set ball geist. But it goes for U-turn, so right through that, and I really... Uh, that was my best bet, <laughs> I really believe that. So anyway, the Severus Strike is coming in now. I do expect him to go for an overheat, but I am a Salt Vestal, so I know I can take that and retaliate. He gets a crit. And I, I guess that balances out, I would consider the um, Sludge Bomb uh, poison I got. But that is unfortunate, because Gorgas was the best bet against the Ludicolo. But I saw it as a golden opportunity to actually bring in my Meowstic and set up. And uh, it's gonna get showcased here that that is not that simple, because even though the name of the Pokemon is my favorite Duck Pineapple, he's gonna be called, for me at least, Mother Fucking Duck Fuck. And that is yes fuck with a PH. Because he gets a Skull Burn, I do go for a Rest, but he goes for another Skull Burn and he goes for Protect, and I can't, even though I got set up, I can't do anything. So, throughout this setup, I'm actually losing momentum, and that is so unfortunate. And I really don't dare go for another Rest, because that will be like a gateway for the Linoon to set up. So, I'm basically here just trying to attack him, trying to kill this Lodicolo, because I actually didn't do enough damage on the first Stalled Power against it, and it got back on track from that. And I do kill the Muck, and, uh, you know, I got two barriers going here, so I actually have a l small chance of surviving this extreme speed, but then die off the burn, but he do take me out, and uh, I'm, the only thing I can say is Dustin, nice, very nicely done to take me out like that. I mean, I had nothing here. And, of course, he's gonna bring a load of cola back, so I pull up a double switch, bring in the Molga, because Emolga is now the only thing, and I mean THE only thing, that can deal with this load of cola, and uh, basically, I have nothing to, uh, like, stall it out with or anything, so I'm forced here to go for a U-turn, hoping that a choice banded U-turn could take it out, and, uh, like I saw there, he got the Synthesis on, which means that, um, or he doesn't have shown the synthesis yet, but that is his last move. Uh, so I don't take him out here, and I go to my Malamar, and now we're gonna show his synthesis. Which means his own attacking move is Scald, which also means that my Gore guys would have handled this guy just fine if I didn't sack him off against that freaking Zebra Strike. And now it's the biggest thing comes here, of course. Now I think, alright, I can build momentum. He already got two Scald burns. It would be so unfair if he just got a first turn freaking scold and I ah oh, you are kidding me we're gonna go for another freaking scold burn first turn and oh shut down my Seratul too which means two of my sweepers and I mean key sweepers are done for they, they can't do anything and I'm I'm so frustrated because this Ludicolo is really doing some heavy artillery work here and I did expect him to switch out right off the bat here, not even trying because of um, the momentum, obviously. So I went for acrobatics. Of course, he doesn't bring the primary, which I was hoping for. So I'm gonna go for assisted damage against this thing. And obviously it's not gonna cut it, and I can't stay into overheat. So I need, yet again, to bring Saratul, which, while he do take this damage fairly well, it's still, you know whatever because <laughs> I can't do anything um, so I'm gonna go for a superpower because he can't really stall me out here and um, he's gonna bring the garbage which while I'm burned which means that I'm obviously not that strong but I'm still doing some fair damage roughly pointing at you know half damage and um, he's gonna see this as a golden opportunity to set up a belly drum but I yeah I probably would have attacked but then again we just meant that my Steelers would come back right on track, and uh, I, f I could have switched out, which seems very likely I wouldn't sack off my Malamar, but really, I was so frustrated and pissed at this time, so I just, just, just die, Malamar, just die, I, I, I have no further use of you, I was so frustrated that he, my, all my momentum throughout this battle just went straight off the bat, downhill, and that is because he did some very good plays here, I'm not gonna lie. 
And uh, yeah, he goes for Volt Switch there, obviously taking me out. And I really just wanted to see what else he's gonna bring. And uh, of course, the motherfucking duck fuck is back on. And um, I'm just gonna bring him Olga and hope for the best. And the thing is that I don't know after Protect Leftovers if my Imolga is actually gonna kill it with a U-turn. So it's gonna come down to this. Honey Pie, please just pull through. And uh, I am so satisfied with this. Freaking finally, you're dead. So yeah, that thing, that thing, Dustin, is so good. Uh, I can't stress this enough, it really trolled me. Of course, he got three folks left, or two folks left. And I was not sure if my um, Fluet could take this overheat, but it barely hangs on. So I decided to go for Moonblast, and uh, thinking that close combat is the only thing that can kill me, I decided to spare Silmeria and bring my Emolga, because Emolga, while it wouldn't outspeed necessarily, it can still take an overheat that is special defense or special attack drop by two. And um, yes, it is. So I gotta go for a knockoff in case that he would switch out and uh, kill the Scarford, that's the case, because that would mean that I could outspeed both of them. And um, of course, overheat being his only attacking move, which means you consider that Volt Switch would activate my motor drive. So Spank is coming in here, and I'm gonna let him, of course, finish me off. And um, yeah, Honey Pie, thank god, what an awesome poke, really saved me throughout this battle, and yeah, I can't really stress it enough, it really made my day. And of course, uh, my flat is not gonna take this close combat at all, but the biggest question is, can a close combat from a Primeape kill Steelix, because I won't have speed, obviously, so I need to find out here if I'm able to pull through against a um, Scarfed. Primeape, and uh, since I'm I'm not sturdy, it means it's gonna take much more damage than I want to. But I actually barely do 50% here, which meant a lot, because of course this earthquake will destroy him, and um, it probably wouldn't have destroyed him right off the bat if it weren't for those free defense droppers before I go and pull this earthquake on here. So, yeah, pretty darn close battle, and like you saw there, he really trolled me. This type of player that he are the matchup player is really, really um, doing numbers on me because I have such a hard time, you know, getting a good ground to build on. I'm pretty much walled out every time, and this Lodicolo, what a poke and what a setup. It, it just destroyed me, really. So I hope you guys enjoyed the battle, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like, and if you're new here to my channel, of course, don't forget to subscribe. And I guess some ending thoughts here about that battle, I mean, I had actually three moments where I could have done something else to really pull through. The first moment was, of course, not sacking off my Gorgeist, which I would have paid off really well throughout the battle, because Zebra Strike wasn't that big of an issue, considering I have pokes that actually could deal with it rather nicely. And um, the other thing that I did see throughout this battle was that I actually, and I think this is gonna, thinking about it, it's gonna make me laugh, but when I wasn't second moved off my Malamar, I probably, when it's gonna finish me off with the Volt Switch, should have switched into my uh, Emolga because I would activate the motor drive and by default getting faster, which means that I would have knocked off the shit out of everything, and that would have paid off really well considering I would shut down the Primeape and the Ludicolo from that moment. So that was something I really missed out on, and had I stayed focused, I might have caught that. And the last thing is, of course, that I didn't go for a rest again with my Meowstic. I really believe that I probably could have taken extreme speed if I got the right momentum when he switched out to his uh, Muck. Because if I go for rest then, then will be one turn of him switching out to the Noon, then one turn of him go for Belly Drum, then one turn to take an extreme speed and then retaliate. And I think that would have paid off much better than me just uh, giving up. I mean, I didn't really give up, I was very stressed because he played so good and really kept me at bay, so I, he got me, of course, confused, which meant that I didn't play as offensively, but I might and should have, uh, and just, you know, take a step back and really watch what the frick am I doing. <laughs> so Dustin or Shackle Death, awesome battle. I really think you did a great job, and I barely won for the right reasons. And um, I really think that if things had gone your way, you definitely would have won. Because that Ludicolo really trolled me so bad. 
So yeah, Dustin, looking forward to our next game, of course. So with that in mind, guys, uh, thank you for watching, and remember, the sky is the limit. So have a good day and take care, alright? Mm, bye!